Hi everyone, Heather Leopards here, and I am so excited to be a part of this summer scrap-in process video series that's hosted by my longtime friend Audrey Yeager. Today I'm going to be walking you through how I created this Pure Delight scrapbooking layout that you see here. So what I did was I started out by picking a background color and I chose, um, it was hard to choose between those two, but I ended up going with this ombre bluish one because I was going to do a um, photo of my daughter at the beach. So I decided that I wanted to kind of create the look of waves. So I added in some white gesso and while that was drying, I designed a wave cut file which you'll see in just a little bit and you can download that in uh, the links below and since the background paper was an ombre effect I decided to cut the waves in an ombre effect so you'll see that I start with a dark blue and I gradually go lighter until you get to the the lightest color so um, the waves measure about two and a half to three inches high depending on um, there's there's like five different waves that I designed so um, they all vary in different sizes and of course you can scale them up or scale them down as you choose and see fit for your project so here I'm just peeling off some of these waves and I'm actually going to save those um, insides of the cut file because I think those could even be used to create something else so I think I've got four here and then I will cut my fifth one separately which is the lighter color that you see here. So once I've got all of those and I was just looking at the back there because I thought that was the, the back looked pretty cool too. But once you've got them all um, go ahead and um, lightly adhere them to the the background there. So um, I was actually using a brand new mat and so it still had some of the sticky on it so that worked out well for me. Um, I was planning on stitching over them so I didn't need them to um, to stick down really well and I actually wanted some of the waves to pop up a little bit. So now that I have them designed uh, the way I want them, I had just had to do a little adjustment there. Um, I am going to, um, my ADD kicks in here, but I'm going to go ahead and look at what I might want to use for uh, my title. And I also designed a title that says Delight. Um, and I use some alphas to finish up the title so that it says Pure Delight. So I cut that here out of a, a really fun um, colorful background paper that's found in the Paige Evans Pick Me Up collection and I just liked how it popped. I usually use a white but I decided to use a color um, and then I'm just gonna clean off my mat um, but you can see that the the delight actually overlaps all the letters overlap each other. So now I'm gonna go back to my waves and I decided that I needed to use thread to stitch over them that have the same kind of ombre looking effect. So now it's time to go ahead and stitch them and instead of doing straight lines I went with the flow of the waves and um, yeah so I overlapped the waves and then I also overlapped the stitching so I just wanted it to actually look like waves look right none of them are exactly the same. And so now I have cut out the insides of the title that says delight and you can see I cut them out of a variety of patterns I used the 6x6 pad because I wanted the patterns to be a little bit smaller in scale so you can see I have a combination of bold colors and light colors but I just wanted to be able to um, have that contrast whenever you are looking at the title so I'm checking out the H there because it looked like it might be a little bit small but it ended up working out and so now I just need to adhere these background patterns to the actual file and usually whenever I am doing a file like this I add the adhesive a little liquid adhesive to the back here like I'm doing um, but this was kind of challenging because it's I, I made this a little bit smaller in scale than I, I, I usually do so after I did um, the D and the T I started on the E and I was like oh my gosh this is just not gonna work so um, for the rest of the letters after this I end up just adding the adhesive 
to the to the background of the letter. Usually I don't like to do that because I don't want the liquid um, adhesive or the residue to show through because sometimes it looks kind of shiny. Um, but because this is so small, it just ended up working out so much better. So um, I just had to be careful and if anything you know, got in the way, then I, I just cleaned it off. So there's my photo of my sweet daughter. I was just taking pictures as she was playing in the waves and um, she's just having so much fun. So it reminded me of um, being delightful out on the beach. Um, it was the afternoon. I actually thought about titling it Afternoon Delight, but then um, I thought that that was just kind of inappropriate. <laughs> um, so I went with Pure Delight and um, I, I messed around with where I was going to put Pure. I put it up above the photo for a little bit and then it just didn't flow right. So um, I left it where it is there. And so now I'm just going to add some embellishments around the page. I wasn't sure how I wanted to layer behind the photo, so I switched over to embellishments. And these rub-ons that are part of this collection just go on like butter. I just love them. Um, so they go on really easy and they just glide right off. Um, so I added that. And then in the meantime, I was like, you know what? We need some color to these waves um, or to this background here. So I added a little bit of the pinkish purple that you see in her swimsuit. And then I splattered on some gold and some of the dark blue Heidi Swap mists. And so that's feeling much, much better there. And now I'm just gonna play around with what I want behind the photos, what I want around the page. Um, and you can see I've added a couple of little cards, little sentiments. Um, and this is where it's starting to, to kind of come together with how I want it. Um, but I decided I'm gonna put some embellishments around the page and then I'm just gonna kind of flow from the upper right down to the bottom left. And so I'm starting to fill in some of those areas there. You can see I added a, a little sentiment um, to the page under pure. I've added a couple of more little rub-ons and now I'm thinking, okay, what else do I need to add to kind of bring the page down a little bit? So. Um, this stay golden I thought was perfect for the sunshine that was radiating off of my daughter um, and then of course she is just so happy and I have to apologize so just bear with me for a minute um, my tripod fell it crashed down in the middle of my project and when I brought it back up I didn't realize that um, it actually changed the the zoom level so you can't see the bottom of the page, but I fix it in a, in a moment. So just bear with me there. So now I'm just adding some really sweet words. It says absolutely fantastic. Um, a couple of little sequins. Um, I changed out that card for this other one. And I think that's where I'm actually going to add my journaling on that, that note card that has the hearts on it. Um, I'll just make a little pocket that you can slide in and out. And then now you can start to see the rest of the page come together. So I added in some more of these phrases, some more rub-ons, and some keywords. And I also stitched on some cute little butterflies like you see there. So that is my page. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I love it and I love showing it to you. So thank you so much. And thank you, Audrey, for including me in this fun summer scrap-in series.